I just got one question. Why are y'all taking breaks in a relationship? It, it bothers me because I hear people say, listen, we're just taking a break right now. It's crazy because most people, when they take breaks, they deal with other people. Right. So why are you still labeling yourself? Oh, we just we in a relationship, but we taking a break. Now, nah, what you want to do is you want to get a pass, a free pass just to cheat. Right. And that's pretty much what it is. Either you're going to make the relationship work or it's not going to work. Which one do you want to do? Do you want to take a break? Nah, listen, scratch that. Stop taking breaks in relationship. Either we will make it work or it's not going to work. I'm not finna do the in between. Let you know, man, you are really encouraging me, motivating me, inspiring me. But God is really using you to help me out. Hello, family. I want to welcome you to AOS the podcast. I'm your host, Mr. AOS Inspires. This is what I need you to do. We're on every single platform, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. I need you to go and subscribe and follow us right now. We drop content every single day. Day that help you with your life because our mission here at AOS the podcast is to empower the world to never give up one conversation at a time, one interview at a time, one video at a time to help you live life at the next level. I want you to live life on the next level. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you that's watching this episode. This is going to be a dynamic episode. I need you to dive in. Do me a big favor. I need you to like share and comment. Don't be a stranger. I like comment with us. And this is what I need you also to do. I need you to copy this link right here on this podcast, this episode, and share it with at least 10 of your friends. I promise you it's going to help them out. Let's jump into the episode. What's going Let on, go. family? I want to welcome you to another episode, another edition of AOS The Podcast. Listen, I'm, I'm excited about this topic on today because I've had somebody come to me and they they bought this topic up right like it, it was crazy because i'm like yo hold on what's the reason for you guys taking a break so many relationships i hear this time and time again oh we were on a break i'm a, I'm a br in this episode i really want to break this break down because at number one before we even get started into this episode i'm gonna just drop this on you i don't believe in breaks like in relationships, you heard the introduction in relationships, either you're going to make the relationship work or try to make the relationship work, or you guys just going to go your separate ways. You go your way. I go my way. But what is this break stuff about? So, so many relationships, they take breaks and this is just my opinion. Y'all can take it or leave it, but many people. I believe take breaks because they're trying to get a free get out of jail pass, a hall pass, right? They just want to cheat. They just want, and it's crazy because most people think about this. When you think of a break, what is a break? I really want to be with you. I'm talking about relationship wise. I really want to be with you. Like you, you're really my type. However, I just see something else that I want to entertain right now. Like I don't want to lose you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on hold. I'm going to put you on ice. That's stupid to me because, I, listen, I, I've seen so many relationships, even married couples take breaks, right? And 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 the, at the end of the day, this is what I truly believe. I'm going to say this. I'm going to keep on re reiterating this throughout the whole episode. A break is simply, I want to put you on ice. I want to hold pause this relationship. Have you ever had a job, right? And you had to take medical leave. That's pretty much what it is. I'm going to take this leave of absence real fast, right? And I want to get paid up to whatever, however much time I have on the books. But I want to go out and possibly experience another job or just really take a break. But I want my job to be secure. So when I decide to come back, I still have the job. It's the same way. You taking a break just to say, listen, I want this relationship. However, I want to do something else right here. I, I want to entertain this with the free conscious. I don't want it to be, I don't want to feel guilty for this. It's stupid. It's dumb. Right? Like, I, I can't stand immature people. And I'm, I'm going to just say this. It's very immature for you to get into a relationship, right? To get into a committed relationship just to say, listen, let's take a break because I see something else. You're, you're not bold enough, right? You, you're not courage what's the word i'm looking for you're not brave enough right to tell the person that you're in a relationship with to be like, listen i love you i dig you but i just i see something else here that i want to pay my attention to i want i just want to i just want to dip into this real fast just see how this is you're not brave enough to do that you're not bold enough right to be honest 
Most people, men and women alike, are not honest enough in relationships. So what you do is you say stupid stuff like, yo, I want to take a break. Let's take a break real fast because this relationship is kind of rocky. I don't know which way we're going. Nah, you listen, breaks are not to try to figure out a relationship, whether we need to stay together or leave. That's not what breaks are for, right? It's crazy. Breaks are designed to step out and do you. And if doing me does not go my way or doesn't go the way that I expected to go, I got I, I got somebody back waiting for me. I got somebody holding my bags, right? I got somebody keeping my pillow warm. And 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 if this doesn't go the way that I wanted to go, I'm gonna slide back and come. Nah, that's trash. Like that's like for real. That's trash to me. And, and the reason I want to drop this episode is because I want to forewarn a lot of you ladies that fall for the okie doke, right? And a lot of you guys, y'all fall for the okie doke too. Anytime somebody approaches you, the person that you're in relationship with approaches you and say, "Listen, I think we need to take a break." Guess what? Either we stay in this relationship or you go. No breaks. I'm just I'm just going to keep it honest with you. There's some people like to use the reverse psychology to say if it's meant to be, we'll come back together. We what nah, listen, listen. If you listen, this is this is what I stand on. If you go, go. Period. Now, if you accept them back, that's on you. As for me, if you leave to want to take a break, break, right? And when I say break, I mean break and go your way. Don't look back. Don't come. That's how I feel. Don't come back. Don't look back. Don't think that I'm going to take you back. No, I'm done. Like if you want to take a break because you feel like this relationship is not going in the direction that you really expected it to go, or you're thinking that this relationship is not panning out, or I'm not a good fit for your life or a good fit for where you want to go or the ideal person that you want to be with. I'm fine. I'm cool in the game, right? I would rather, I'm talking to all my single people and all my people that's in new relationships, six months, you know, maybe a year. And now your person wants to take a break. Cool. This is what I want you to do. Take your break. Enjoy your life. No, we can't be cool. I, I, I don't get that either. You know, people break up and they still remain cool, right? I mean, I mean, friends, right? Cordial, I understand. But we friends? Nah, I, I can't. I can't. Now, I, I believe in forgiving people. I do believe in forgiving people. But once an enemy, you can never be my friend again. That's just how I feel. I'm just being honest. Once an enemy, you can never become my friend again because there's a reason why we broke up, right? There's a reason why we got to the juncture in this relationship where you feel like, yo, I need a break. I need a break from you. Cool. Take all the time that you need to get yourself together. Just know this door will not be open again. And, and, and this is the crazy part. A lot of y'all are not standing on your guard, on standing on what you, what you really believe. Many of you, watch this, are allowing people to come back that's taking a break. And I'm, I'm going to reiterate it again. Most times when people take breaks, they really just have somebody else that they want to entertain. I've seen, I ain't going to say millions, but I've seen plenty of people in a relationship take breaks. Most, most, I must say a good 90% of the couples that took a break, watch this. They didn't just say, you know what? I ain't messing with nobody else. I ain't dealing with nobody. No, no, no. They dealt with somebody else. Most people that take breaks, they deal with somebody else. And the break is, is just a cover up just so that you won't be calling. Or if you catch me out on a date with somebody, you won't get so alarmed. I told you we're on a break. It's stupid to me. Like, in my opinion, uh, a break is an immature way of saying I want to cheat. That's it. Like, why are we taking a break for? Either we're going to make this thing work, either we're going to figure this thing out, or we're not. But there's no such thing as a break. A break? Like, do you take a break from your job? Now, I'm not saying, I'm not saying like you, you, you take a break, like a 15 minute break. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a break where now watch this. I, I'm, 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 a, I'm, I'm a expose a lot of y'all on this one because a lot of y'all going to say, no, nah, it's cool to take a break. You need that break. Right. But you tell me one job that will allow you to take a break so that you can go on another job interview and try this job out to see if it's a perfect fit for you. And then if it is a perfect fit, you'll put your two week notice here. You tell me one job that will allow you to do that. Knowing that you're doing that. Nah, it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Right. 
I guarantee you, if you tell your job, listen, you know, and I'm, I'm not for jobs. I, 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 I'm not going to say I'm against jobs. It's just for me being an entrepreneur, controlling my destiny. You know, that's just how that's how I'm wired. I talk about it in another episode, but you can't tell me that there's a job that you can go to and say, listen. I, I, I enjoy this job, but you guys are not paying me enough. So what I'm going to do is I want to take a month leave, right? And there's another job that's been looking at me that I apply for, that they like me, that they hire me. I'm going to go over there and see how this thing works out. If it works out, I'm going to put my two weeks in. If it doesn't work out, I'll be back. There's no job, no manager, no boss in their right mind will allow that to go down, period. Because once you say that, they'll say, okay, cool. They'll start to find your replacement. I promise you. So even in relationships, why are you, why are you even suggesting to your person, listen, I love you and I want to be with you, but I think we need to take a break. No, no, no. We can figure this thing out together. If we need to go to professional counseling, let's do that. If we need to start taking and just sit down, we can't afford counseling. If you, but there's pretty, I'm pretty sure there's some reasonable uh, counseling out there, right? But if you say, listen, I'm just shot financially, I can't take, I can't get accounts. Cool. This you need to do. Y'all need to sit down, maybe find a mediator that can mediate the conversation, but sit down and talk about, she write down the list of things that bothers her about the relationship. You write down the list of things that bother you about the relationship. I'm telling you, this is a great exercise, right? She writes down the things that bothers her. You write down the things that bother you. Then you write down the great things about the relationship and he write down the great things about the relationship. Then you guys talk about it. Be amical about it. And what's crazy is a lot of couples are not willing to sit down and listen to the other side or the other point of view, because I only want to listen to respond. Nobody, it's crazy. I ain't gonna say nobody, but there's a lot of relationships that don't listen to listen. Many of you get in relationship and you guys argue and you listen to argue or you listen to defend yourself, not listen to, let me hear your point. I guarantee you, I'm going to give you that for free. And that's an exercise that I used to use all the time on couples that come for counseling before they get married. That's one of the exercises I use all the time. Matter of fact, that was one of the key elements that we learned in school, right? You can't always give your person that you're in relationship with all the negative. Like you got to tell them the positive and the negative. It's like kick, punch, kick, punch, right? And, and the punch was the negative things, but the kick was I'm going to kick you uh, something that is positive about you. Because anything that I hear all negative about me, I'm going to go into in defense mode immediately, right? But one thing that I want you to go into defense mode about is Relate is taking a break. A break is for quitters. <laughs> Period. I, I'm talking. I'm not talking about a break where you need a break from life. I'm not talking. I'm talking about relationships. All the breaks that I've seen in relationships is people will take a break just to get into a relationship with somebody else or to entertain another relate another person sexually. You know whether they go on the dates, whatever. Breaks are trash. Like I, I, I just don't believe in breaks. I'm just keeping, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. Your boy don't believe in breaks. Either, watch this, either we're going to make this thing work or it's not going to work at all. I love you guys. And I hope that everybody that's getting into a relationship or you're at a place where the person that you're in relationship with is like, yo, we need to take a break. I hope that you found some substance in this episode. Right. And I don't know if you guys know this. I haven't been making the episodes long because it's crazy because you guys show up greatly when it's between 10 to 15 minutes, 18 minutes max. You guys show up greatly. But when it's like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, you guys rock with it. We got good watch time, but I noticed the views are going down. But this is why if anybody been asking, a few people asked why your videos been short. This is why. But I hope y'all got I hope y'all found great substance in what I'm talking about today. Forget breaks. Like either you want to be with a person or you don't. Make up your mind. Make a decision. What's going on, family? I want to say thank you for rocking with us during this episode. We have been so excited to drop this episode. I'm glad that you made it to the end. This is what I want you to do. If you have any takeaways from this episode, leave it in the comments. We want to hear your thoughts. We want to hear how you feel. I want to bring content to you that's relevant to you, that'll help you change your life because you already know our mission here at AOS Inspires. AOS, the podcast, is to empower the world to never give up one conversation at a time, one interview at a time, one video at a time to help you live life at the next level. This is what I need you to do. I need you to like, 
subscribe, share, share this episode. If it spoke to your life, share this episode with somebody. Why? Because you are connected to some people that we're not connected with. And with that connection together, we can empower the world to never give up. I'm Mr. AOS Inspires. This is AOS The Podcast. I can't wait to see you next week. Just in case you didn't know, we drop every single week, three times a week, Mondays, 8 a.m., Wednesdays, 8 a.m., and Fridays, 8 a.m. You need to catch an episode. Matter of fact, catch all three episodes. It's going to be fire. I promise you it's going to help you doing your everyday life. It's going to help you get to the next level. Let's go.